ever since Christmas in 1992 when I first got my original Game Boy with Tetris, my love affair of the system has just grown and grown year on year. Sadly, somewhere along the line, I thought it'd be a good idea to sell my Game Boy for one of the newer systems, which was supposed to be a lot better. But since realising that the Game Boy is actually the best handheld of all time, I decided to collect for the system once again. Unfortunately, over the years, the prices for the games has just skyrocketed. And for some games, you're looking at north of £500 and even £1,000 for Trip World. Now, obviously, I can't afford that. But there is ways and means of collecting and making it cheaper. And one such way is to just collect the cartridges. And the biggest problem when you're collecting cartridge only is, how do you store them? You can't just throw them into a drawer, you can't store them on a shelf. And for many people, the best way is to just put them in a shoebox, or to put them into one of those really useful boxes. People are even 3D printing some holders for games, but obviously you can't hold many on them. And yeah, for cartridge only fans, it's a real nightmare. Now, to combat this, I have been looking at tea caddies on eBay because a tea bag is roughly the same size as a Game Boy cartridge. With a tea caddy, you can obviously stack all your tea bags up, and I was thinking that I'd be able to do that with the Game Boy cartridges. However, on a tea caddy, it usually says tea, and that isn't very good for what I'm wanting. So I reached out to a friend of mine called Mike Weaver, who's got his own little business, which he does from home as he's studying at the moment. He does odd jobs for people involving woodwork. So I commissioned him to make a storage holder for my Game Boy cartridges. And the idea was to go along the tea caddy sort of theme. And with all the dimensions, I was quite lucky with the space that I have. I needed it to be quite thin so as you can see there it's not overly wide and it slots nicely down the side of my bed so in here i have room for 104 games there's four sections housing 26 games so without further ado let's take a look and there you are so that's the lid it's really heavy wood. It's nicely varnished as well. Really heavy, really robust and strong. Now, the only issue is that, and that's not from Mike, the only issue is that you can't see what you're picking up. So do I put some sort of dividers in there? Well, no, I can't because that fits snugly into this section here. So I'm thinking of maybe getting some cartridge stickers to go along the top just to say what it is but overall i am absolutely delighted with this and it just everything fits perfectly in there and keeps the cartridges free of dust i'll just focus on that there you are keeps the cartridges free of dust obviously and everything's nice and tidy exactly what i wanted and this set me back 40 pounds and um yeah to have something custom made made so nicely as well and to be perfect for what i need 40 pounds was more than a fair price i thought and he does do commissions of almost everything i've got a few pictures to show you of the kind of things he does he's done some units for somebody who's got a lot of games and he's wanting to house all them games in a certain way he does like plaques and keyhole anything you want really within reason um so i'll leave a link to his facebook group that's how you can get hold of him um he is a student as well so um you know pl please give him time and <laughs> ask him the time scale of each item that you may want or need but yeah, absolutely fantastic work, and I can't recommend him enough. But for a storage solution, if you're a cartridge-only Game Boy collector, something like this is ideal. So, yeah, I just wanted to show this off, and I would like to thank you for watching. So I hope you've maybe found a solution to your storage problem, or if not, I just hope that you've enjoyed this video and you appreciate just how good I think this is. So...
Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.